Google is one of the best SEO tools that even professionals should use, and search operators take it to the next level. This video will explain what are search operators and demonstrate their practical uses. First of all, what are Google search operators? Google search operators are commands that extend Google's search capabilities, making it easier to filter and find information. These operators can be words, punctuation, or symbols. Search operators are popular among SEOs because they help with things like content audits, keyword research, finding backlink opportunities, technical SEO audits, just to name a few. To use search operators, you only need to type them in the search box and make a normal search. Please bear in mind that some operators are case sensitive and only work if you type them in uppercase, for example. Now, let's see what you can achieve with search operators. You can use search operators to find non-secure pages. Website security is a serious topic. That's why we should only allow indexing of HTTPS pages. So to quickly find if Google is indexing non-secure pages from a website, use the following query. Site domain name minus in URL HTTPS. The site operator forces Google to only show results from the domain mentioned. The minus operator makes Google exclude search results and the in URL operator makes Google only show pages with a word or words from the query in the URL. So when you combine them, you can find non-HTTPS pages indexed by Google for a specific website. You can use search operators to find duplicate content on your site. Even if Google say they don't penalize it, that does not mean that you should have it on your site. So use the site operator and a phrase inside quotation marks to find duplicate content. The quotation marks operator forces an exact phrase match on search results. This will make Google show all the pages on the site containing this exact expression. An example of duplicate content this expression find is product descriptions that appear on multiple pages. You can also use this expression with a slight variation to find if other websites use the same content. For this, just use the minus before the site name and this will show all the sites except the one excluded by the query. A pro tip, this expression is useful to find websites republishing your content without permission. When a website grows, it may become increasingly harder to control what URLs Google indexes. This could make some files that should not be indexed appear in the search results page. To know if Google is indexing files from your site, use this query. Site, domain and file type operator. The file type operator makes Google only show files from the same type mentioned in the search box. This query checks if Google indexed any documents from the domain mentioned. A pro tip, if you want to search for several types of files at once, you can combine them. For this, you should look into the AND or AND parentheses operators. Search operators also help find internal link opportunities. An expression for that can include the site operator, a keyword, minus the in URL operator with the keyword. This way you are telling Google to only show pages from a website related to the keyword but only if the keyword is not mentioned in the title. You can also use search operators to find mentions to a brand on other websites. Going after unlinked brand mentions can be a somewhat easy way to earn back links, so use this expression to find them. Minus site operator with your domain, in text and your company name. The in text operator makes Google only show pages with a word or words from the query in the body of the page. A pro tip, remove social media websites like Twitter and YouTube if you get a lot of mentions there. Search operators are also good at finding websites accepting sponsored posts. Try it using this query. Your topic, in text, this is a sponsored post inside quotation mark. You can also search for common phrases like this post was brought to you by or this was a paid collaboration with. Similarly, search operators will also uncover guest post opportunities. Use the expression topic in title right for us inside quotation mark. The in title operator makes Google only show pages with a word or words from the query in the title of the page. There are a lot of other title variations for finding guest post opportunities as you can see on the screen. Search operators can quickly find how many pieces of content your competitors published or updated in a specific period. Use the site operator and your competitor blog URL. Then click on tools and select the date range you want to know how many posts your competition updated. Search operators also allow you to find sites that are linking to your competitors. Use the query with link operator, the website URL, 
minus site operator and the competitor site URL. Google deprecated the link operator a few years ago, but it still works to some extent. However, this expression also showed results without links to the target domain, so be wary of mixed results. With search operators, you can also find websites mentioning your competitors that are not mentioning you. Use a query with the following elements. The parentheses operator in text for each of your competitors you want to find the name, the minus operator to exclude the site of each of your competitors, and the minus operator to exclude your company name from the text. For example, I looked for websites mentioning Bank of America and Citigroup that were not mentioning Wells Fargo. This will give someone working at Wells Fargo a list of websites to reach out and get mentioned alongside their competitors. Hope this video helped you learn more about Google search operators and how to use them to improve your daily SEO tasks. And speaking of day-to-day -day SEO tasks, watch this video here to learn more about SEO testing, a tool to help you grow search traffic through testing and experimentation. Thanks for watching.